Namaste Air Signs, Sun in Libra, Sun in Gemini, Sun in Aquarius, this born during the year of the horse, the year of the tiger, the year of the dog, and other aspects moon in Virgo, Gemini rising, moon in Capricorn, Libra rising, moon in Taurus, Aquarius rising. The other aspects will be posted below the video. So, uh, straight off the bat, I'm getting for Sun in Libra. Coming out of the 8th month, which we're still in, going into the 9th month. This is a reading, mind you, for September 2021. I'm seeing where, you know, a job that you've had for a long time is coming to an end. Okay? And this is because someone was found uh, stealing. Someone lost their job. Okay? As well as I'm getting someone is paranoid here, they think that they lost their job because they were stealing. They're not, some, some, some of you are not sure if you lost your job because you were stealing, but you were stealing, obviously, <laughs> or as why would you think so? Or someone is, you know, wondering if something, you know, has come to end, like some of, some of you were being paid for sex too, and, um, a job as a mistress and they, you've lost that. And um, I feel like you're wondering if it is because you had ill intentions. Some you, you're paranoid that someone discovered this. Also, um, I think you know they have. To be honest, for a lot of you, if yeah, you have been caught red-handed. I'm also getting to that. You know, the death of a family member. Okay, uh, overseas who works overseas. In a foreign country, this person they're gonna die from a sickness or a virus, okay? This still is a sickness, okay? This could be Delta or COVID, or this could be some other virus that they've contracted, okay? So I feel like the energies are running off more smoothly for the air, the air frequencies. Also, I'm getting that a, a, a something very toxic and codependent that you've been a, a part of. Like, that is coming to an end. Okay, black magic. You could have been a part of this. That is coming to an end. A very toxic, dysfunctional, unscrupulous group. That is coming to an end. Because, like... We are about to face karma for something here. Okay, grown-ass people. I'm also getting someone is going to die. This is definitely some of you. Someone's going to die here from an addiction they have. And this could be smoking or, you know, being intoxicated. Okay? So someone could be addicted to drinking, feeling drunk, getting drunk. And as well as, yeah, I'm getting someone is a drunk here. Someone is addicted. Someone is, like, drinking excessively. This is going to damage your uh, an organ or several organs here, organ failure. Someone is going to pass away. For some of you, this is smoking. Some of you have been smoking. But I feel like you've been, your family, they are unaware that you smoke. I feel like someone hide and they smoke. They smoke in secret. So this is a secret addiction. Nobody knows that you even smoke any at all. <laughs> But you're gonna die from that, okay? I'm also getting a group of people. I did that for, uh, I saw that in the community reading that I did. I did, I did that for a community reading for, you know, I was just you know, led to do that community reading. Y'all can see it. It's on this Instagram and my YouTube channel, Sky Goddess Infinity Inc. Okay, just like this, you know, name it's named after this, you know, Instagram. All well, this Instagram was named after it. So, <laughs> 
Dagger Wise. Yeah? So I'm getting like a, a massive, a mass death. I'm getting mass death here. I'm getting a family. This is like also genocide. This is like genocide of a family here. But this is also death um, from a virus. It's like a large group. Like this could be your entire family or majority of your family dying from COVID-19 or Delta. That's what I'm also getting. So I'm going to move on to Sun in Aquarius. Okay. Sun in Aquarius. Uh, Year of the Dog, Moon in Capricorn, Libra Rising. Um, oh, yeah, for the ninth month. How is this? For the ninth month of Libra, y'all going to see sudden changes. Okay. Y'all going to be seeing sudden changes. Um, but whatever is going to happen, August, if it has not yet happened, because there are a few more days left in August, it's going to happen very sudden. And coming into September, because this is a September reading, uh -huh, but I'm just trying to connect the dots. Coming into September, y'all going to see, you know, there's going to be sudden karma. Okay? There's going to be... A sudden change or a sudden end to your Jupiter or your wealth or your prosperity. Um, if you were, you know, flourishing or prospering, you know. Uh, part to August. Okay. Or even during August, if you were, you know, there's going to be sudden changes there. Okay. They think uh, things were going really well for you during the month of July. Okay. When you started windowing down August, it's going to suddenly stop during the month of September. And that's like karma, if that's you. Okay. But if like, you, you know, y'all know yourselves. Because the Wheel of Fortune is turning in other people's favor. So there's some, you know, Year of the Horse. Uh, they're they're going to be experiencing good, you know, good, you know, Jupiter, good karma. Okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is turning. And that's not, not something that can be manipulated by, by man or people, you know? It's completely controlled by the Great Spirit, the, the Divine, you know, the Almighty. But, you know, September is, you know, um, people are going to be suddenly dying from the virus. So you and your family could, could, could contract this during August, could have already contracted this, going to be contracting it in late August. It's just, you know, divine, divinely orchestrated, but like, you know, this too, if y'all listen to tarot or if y'all ever received a prophecy, it's like a prophecy manifesting. Okay, this sudden change happening during the month of September. So like, I feel like September is a time of seeing and believing. It's a time of seeing domes eclipsed. Okay, I've been talking about that for a long time on my funny Kuso, Joso Instagram. Domes eclipsing. All now is seen. So y'all seeing you know, prophecies manifesting also a great flood <laughs> okay also a great flood also some of you may have a younger sibling who's gonna go viral they're on social media they're in the public they're gonna be a um Receiving public worship uh, during the month of September. Okay? But this is their justice. They're going to become very famous. They're going to become, you know, they're going to, you know, become an internet sensation, if you want to call it that. Some of you, they're going to be traveling overseas. Um, for, you know, um, but I'm mostly getting this person, they're going to be famous for a job that they do. And this could be a job that they do online or, you know, on the internet, okay? And they could be, uh, 
Maybe somebody says this could be an astrologer or an activist or a star of some kind, okay? But like, you know, the, the ninth month is a very karmic month, so whatever happens is like karma. Period that. That's the period of uh, transit of energies we're under. The ninth month is karma. The end. Period that. So, uh,. Mm -hmm. some of you could also see sudden changes to your face like your face is going to become darkened listen to the other readings I think I made mention of that in other readings because what I, I saw but this is justice too because like I said whatever happens during the ninth month that is you know karma moving on to Aquarius Sun um Aquarius Sun coming out of the eighth month. Uh, this is a sudden death. This is a uh, sudden death in a family. Now this could be a father figure, but this could also be someone else in your family who's going to suddenly transition and die. Okay, for some of you, this is a job completely ending. Sun in uh, Aquarius, Capricorn, Moon, Lib Libra rising. Those born during the year of the dog. This is a job coming to an end, okay? A family member dying. For some of you, this is both. For some of you, this is one. But like, uh, going into the ninth month, um, someone's gonna reach out. You're gonna reach out to a sibling. Now this could be someone, a sibling who's influential. Or some of you are going to be talking about a sibling who lives overseas, works overseas, or who used to live or work overseas. I don't know if maybe this is the family member who's going to be dying, who you're going to be talking uh, about. But I see someone thinking long and hard about a sibling here, talking about this sibling as well. Okay. But your, your Jupiter is going to undergo a change during the ninth month. Things are slowing down in your job, okay? And there's going to be a change during the ninth month, okay? A change to your Jupiter. But like I said, whatever that happens during the ninth month is, you know, karma. Moving on to Sun in Gemini. Coming out of the eighth month. A sudden transform uh, transition in here, and you know this is a transition uh, of a mother for someone you grew up with. I'm getting like this could be a mother, an older family member, or this could be you know someone you grew up with. Okay, this person could have cancer and or Taurus highly aspected. This person, they could be sick uh, from smoking. And they're going to be passing away from the sickness that they have from smoking. You know, just like uh, I got for Libra, Sunny Gemini, Moon and Taurus, Aquarius Rising. Some of y'all, you know, people didn't know you were smoking or this person was smoking. Someone's going to suddenly transition. I feel like this is one of you. This isn't someone here. This is you. But like you and this sibling may share similar aspects. Okay. But one is sun is in Gemini, one is moon in Taurus, one is Aquarius uh, rising or something like that. Yeah, because I'm getting like similar but yet conflicting energies. So both of you belong to the same, have you know similar frequencies in the same you know train of frequencies. 
okay sun in gemini moon in taurus aquarius rising but you know someone here they're gonna suddenly die transition because they've been hiding and smoking though they're not supposed to be smoking and they're gonna die from this sickness Now this person, they may transition at home. Their home, they're gonna transition uh, in their own home. But also this might not necessarily be smoking for some of you, but some other sickness like a virus, whether COVID, Delta, or, you know, I've been getting for some of the other frequencies, STDs, with that 10th house in Scorpio. Yeah. So there's a life lesson here in regards to sex. Okay. But like I said, this person, they've got the same train of frequency like you, or this is you, okay? Yeah. Going into uh, the ninth month, someone they're going to see... Something, something is going to be revealed or someone is going to be receiving justice here uh, I feel like more like it is something being exposed revealed okay like this could have been something that seemed as though it was a gossip but it is turning out to be true you're seeing that something was true that you you know thought was a gossip Someone is going to face judgment here for being very five of ones, too, you know, argumentative, too competitive, too jealous, too, um, poorish. Also, I'm getting that too. Petty. Petty. Someone's going to face judgment for being petty and, you know, you know, yeah. Someone's going to face judgment for being petty. This could be you. But if it's a sibling or someone else, they have similar frequencies to you. But I'm getting mostly it is you. Okay. And for some of you, this is about uh, the judgment is the pettiness is talking shit about this could be an ex of yours or a sibling of yours. A younger sibling that you hate or you've been hiding or you're jealous of or you were trying to hinder their progress you didn't want them to be seen but you're gonna face justice for that judgment rather with that nine of swords during September yeah Springing right out of the the eighth month into September, so this is like the first week of September. You're gonna see judgment for that. You're gonna face judgment for that. You're gonna be seen as very envious and petty because you could be, could have been talking shit about this younger sibling. Uh -huh. Someone here was jealous of their younger sibling as well. Uh -huh. Very hateful. So um. I'm going to leave that for you, Air Signs. Uh, uh, if you want to get the extended version of this, you know, the procedure, like the other readings, I'm going to post the procedure again below this video. You pay uh, for the extended, and I will for forward the links to you so you can, you know, get the conclusion of the whole matter in, in terms of, you know, clear, precise energies 
uh, somewhat clear precise energies to, to expect because if you if you want a more in-depth really really uh, absolute uh, profound concise uh, message or reading then that requires a personal reading the extended is more just of an, if an extension of uh, this general reading, but it's still a general reading. But if you want a personal reading in terms of, you know, in regards to this matter, then you can DM me or contact me on the, uh, by the number below, whether WhatsApp or direct messaging, WhatsApp direct messaging or my Instagram. Um, I would rather you, you, you know, contact me via direct messaging uh, because I might not have internet connection at the time okay and uh, i don't want to miss your messages so i would rather you direct message me uh and i will get back to you okay so thank you guys for listening and namaste